What we have here is um, 3 BC, June the 17th, and we're going to uh, run the program in 10 minute interval intervals, and this is uh, Jupiter, and let's go down to uh, Judah, which is the Leo constellation, and that Regulus means king, and that's the king planet. So we're looking for the star of Bethlehem, what it was. Now, if you're in the east and you're looking west, um, the direction of Jupiter, if it's in a retrograde, will remain in the same area for a long period of time. And that indicated to the Magi that the planet, the star, is the king star, being Jupiter, being the largest. They knew that already. And so what we're going to do is say, well, if we're traveling from the east, which way do the stars arrive? Well, they, they come up in the east. So they said that they saw the king's star from the east, which means they saw it in the west. So we're going to run that and I'll show you what I mean. So this should give us 10 minutes and do fast animation and not animate the moon. So you see this is Mercury moving very quickly. Here's the sun that changes position uh, throughout the day of course and it overtakes Jupiter. But you watch Jupiter as it comes down into this area here. This is Mercury going into what's called a retrograde. So from your perspective, there goes Venus past Jupiter. So from your perspective, you would see this. So that's a very heavy sign. Then if Venus does the same thing in a retrograde motion, it'll turn on itself and come back. But you'll notice that this large bright planet, which is the king planet, Jupiter, it remains in the same position and will stop and then start going back the other way. Now, because it's such a rare event for a, the uh, planet Jupiter, because of its uh, year around the Earth is uh, 12 years, so it was a rare event. So they read the stars and say, well, it's now going backwards. Now what's going to happen is, this is the king, we're looking for the queen. The queen is this line here, which is Venus. It's very important to realise that there's got to be a marriage. So you see this is staying in the same place. Now watch as this comes down. It's going to hit here and there's going to be a very bright flash. I'm not that bright. I just did that for effect. Okay, so the, the time it stopped at is uh, June the 17th. So if we um, set this up, to be June the 17th and on a still program. I'm doing this in the dark so I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, there we go. So we're going to add, change the date to uh, June rather. Please. June 17 to BC. I should do it. The Julian day was 1720861.
So they've arrived and they've gone to Herod. They knew the baby had been born. Herod didn't want to think about it because kings don't become kings until they take over another king's position. So he was very unhappy about that. So we're going to plot it over in view. So we're going to find Venus. There it is. We're going to find Jupiter. They're both lined up. And they're in the heart of Leo, which is the constellation for Judah. So he's the king of Judah. I want to point out that Jesus was not a Jew. He uh, was an Essene. And this predates right back to the time of uh, Enoch. They were Essenes. It's the, the truth religion. I'm now going to change the date to show you something unusual to um, January 11th, 44. I'm going to change to um, location. Sydney and uh, the time to 22. That's when I was born. And a plot to have a review. So I'm going to zoom out a bit. We're going to find Venus. She's right down to the left there. And we have the time that it rises, 2.14. and sets at 16.03, Sydney, Australia, for that day. So it's coming up in the east. So we've got 14 hours. Take away 14, plus 3. That's 8.29 minutes. Now, we're going to find in Leo, we're going to find Jupiter. And its timing is sets at 7, rises at 21. So what you do there is you take the 7 plus 24 for the next day, minus 21, 7 plus 24 minus 21, which are 10 hours times 60. Minus 12 plus 54. That's 642. We add that to the memory. We have 1471. Now we go to a Bible program. So let's see if we can see that all right. We're looking for one, four, 
71. The number is in Ku off from 1722 and 2949. That's to gaze at something and uh, a swelling inside, pregnant, great with child. Now, the term great with child To be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. What we're going to do now, in my database, I'm going to look for the number one, four, seven, one. Right. What we have here is where I was born here. To my first wife here, to my Nell Street address here, and this is the one that's on the 31680 kilometres around the earth. The length of the three sides, 1471, contains an area of 37800 square kilometres. This number here, 378, means God will prove by coincidence. Hebrew is to be covered with flesh, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. Luke 2 5. 2 5 is a sacred number, that's the width of the pyramid in reeds, or years. 9131.06 pyramid inches is 25 years. And that's what it means. At the top here, where I had to marry a harlot from Lithgow, Hosea prophecy, the latitude of her house. This one here, this is Ireland, is 3323 North. That is Messiah in Greek. This one down the bottom here, the distance around this eight sides, if you notice, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that is 5813 kilometres from the South Pole. We have the area of Ireland's property which I measured with a GPS, is 31101. And 31101 we find in the Great Pyramid, and that's how many verses there are in the Bible, but that's also the Julian day I was born on. 2431101. So the area, the birth area, over here, is 22,000 square metres. I was 22 inches long when I was born, and uh, 22 makes up the Hebrew alphabet. And the three sides, of course, is the point, is totaling 1471. Now, on that date, let's go back to the search result. This is home planet. And what it's showing you is the position of the moon. So it shows you the birth home there to the South Pole is the comforter. That's pretty phenomenal. So we can also search three one point six eight. See what we come up with. So 
So what we have here, on January 11th, 1944, the distances are measuring from Jupiter, that's the king planet, it's 88,860 miles wide, so that is Jesus, and 60 is time, 888 is Jesus. The radius, you divide by 2, is 444.3, and that number is how many times the word God is found in 3877 verses. So we have... The distance from Jupiter to the Sun, 5.34, Mercury 5.04, Venus 4.89, Mars 4.46, Earth 4.51. The total is 2424. We add Saturn, 3, that's Jesus. We add Saturn, 744, brings it up to 3168. So we add the outer planets, that is 77.7 astronomical units. That's there, 26.6, 32.67, that's for Pluto, and this is uh, Uranus, 18.43, gives you 777. In other words, it is perfect. So we're going to punch in the number four. Let's see it. Four, four, four point three. Sorry about that. Point three. So I'm, I'm completely in the dark here. That's one thing I can do is turn the damn light on, isn't it? Point three. And we're going to see where that number is God, remember, in the 3877 verses. So we're going to search for that. Back, take the point out. First off, what we have is uh, radius of Jupiter 4443. I built two houses in Canada. This is um, five, uh, three, oh, let me think now, 525, I think it was. Willow Street in Cornell, and uh, my daughter Nicole was conceived there, and my first daughter, uh, she was conceived in uh, Roger Street in Port Alberni. So the word God is found in 3877 verses, 4443 times. Uh, the maternity ward where I was reborn is 3877 miles to the South Pole. So we've got Roger Street, Port Alberni, British Columbia, Canada. These two locations are 444.3 kilometres apart. It's only possible with Magellan Global Positioning Satellite Technology because the world is controlled by the Jews. Once they realised what I was doing, they changed to Google Earth. And uh, the distances are out. That's what you've got to realise. That's how desperate they are to stop you. Now this one here is very complex, but I'll briefly run through it. 
You've got 169.4 nautical miles from Mount Kosciuszko to the Nell Street address, and that's on a line that is 31680 kilometres around the Earth. Now, the speed of the Earth at that point is um, 13... 20 kilometers per hour and the word is did as kilov and it means master in brackets Jesus a teacher in the New Testament who teaches concerning the things of God and the duties of man one who is fitted to teach and thinks himself etc etc according to John the Baptist, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost. The distance to the South Pole, as said, is 5813, and that's the height of the pyramid, which I'm showing you there, in pyramid inches. So that's why the pyramid links it all together, because in the pyramid, it gives you the Julian Day I was born on. But measuring from these two distances here, we have a line... There's the North Pole, so we have a line that is 16704 nautical miles around, and the one below that is 21146. Now, what does that mean? The height of Kosciuszko, that's the highest mountain in Australia, in feet, 7309. So we call that nautical miles, and we measure from Kosciuszko to a point that is this distance around and then from Nell Street we measure in statute miles and we end up with a distance that is 8674 kilometres to the pole 5624 kilometres to the pole so the Kosciuszko line, the Mount Kosciuszko gives you that point there why 5624? Well, that's the verse total. Sorry. That's the word total in the James Strong's Concordance of the New Testament. 5624 words. In the Old Testament, there's 8674 words. When you subtract the 5624 from the 8674, it gives you 3050. Hebrew, yeah. In other words, it is missing. They have reduced the numbers down where it should be at least the same numbers here, but no, they come up with 5624. Jar, God Almighty, missing from the New Testament. Here, 31680 kilometres around the earth. But why Kosciuszko? Well, when I married, I was 1162. Point six weeks old. In years, that's 22.28. And the height of Mount Kosciuszko is 2228 metres. Cebu Plain. So what have we got here? We subtract the distance around the Earth at 5624K, and that's that one. From the pole, 16704 nautical miles, that one. From the distance around the Earth at 8674, which is larger, which is 21146.4 nautical miles, and it is 4443 nautical miles smaller which is the word God, title found in 3877 verses. The 4443 is the average in 1 Chronicles 5.13, seven names, 31106 divided by 7. Right. If we add the seventh word, it brings the total up to divide by 8, so that increases that number there, and that becomes an average of the comfort at number and seven, which is the distance from Sydney here to the South Pole, 3875 miles.
the 1162.6 weeks being 22.28 years, it's also the antechamber, 116.26, and that is my age on the date I married on April the 23rd, 1966, to Lucifer. Lucifer in the flesh, you have no idea. So I had to seek out and find Lucifer in the flesh. And of course it is Arlene Joyce Rosemont. And that is why the numbers fit, irregardless of personalities. Her parents' home, of course, is found by the same number as Jupiter and Venus added together, 1471, which I showed you before. So you can see there are many there uh, drawings that I've done. There are actually something in that quarter, 20,000 drawings I've done over the years, and they're all miracles. So with this particular computer, we can go back to the search results. Um, we'll just pick one here, for example. This is... Uh, 31.68 years and uh, the number is 32.75 and 32.75 is the age Michelle was, my third wife, when she gave birth to Rhiannon and Rhiannon, that was the 20th of December uh, 1979 a monster of a kid thief, liar make a brilliant horror, horror story if ever came to the film. Now the, uh, all these measurements here you won't gather because it's too complex. But the sun, now this is September the 16th, 1975, when New Guinea got its independence. Right? While I'm in New Guinea, she is stealing all my money and she sold the house that I built and disappeared. It's kind of woman's here. Even stole my car and furniture. So, uh, there's another one here. That's the one I was showing you before. Uh, on my birthday, but it goes on and on. Back to the, this is the Great with Child, um, and I've ended it with one more drawing. Um, So we're going to search uh, King's Chamber. Now this number here is 537.0278 and there's the wall here which I've not being able to fit into this drawing from that perspective because we're leaning against the wall, you might say. But that's the distance from a line in the sea that crosses on its way to the South Pole, the Comforter number, 3875 from Rothschild Avenue to the South Pole. Where it crosses the 31680 number of kilometres around the Earth, that's the Nell Street address where I live with Michelle, uh, Michelle Nine. And it's 537 kilometres. Now that number, if you look in you, most Bibles, they vary a bit, but uh, 537 is how many times the word Christ is found in the King James, I think. 
Um, the 11626 is in here, and that's the uh, width of the antechamber. So what we've got then, we've take the 537.0278. We go from that line, which is the centre of the passage, and we go 286.1. So actually, it is in the centre of here. So I should draw it properly. I'll do that now. So from inside the coffer is the point. So the line goes to the inside, the centre of the coffer, and then goes to the ceiling. That number is 286.1. Then you've got to the ceiling 230.05379. This is measuring to within 10 thousandths of an inch. And then we've got a lunation, 29.53052. So you've added these three together, that one, that one, and that one. It gives you that number there. Multiplied by time, gives you that number there, which is the Julian day I was born on, and how many verses there are in the Bible. Right. Clear as mud. So, this is the top view, rather a side view. That's the antechamber, that's the boss, that's the width of the antechamber there, 116.26. Uh, this includes the Isle of Man, all the sort of stuff which we won't go into. There's a top view. So this is a great step, this is a grand gallery. So there's a great step here. That's where it starts from. And you go right through, and you'll see from that yellow line there, it's 537.0278. We're going to the center. For everything in the pyramid is built off center. Now we're going to the center here within the king's chamber. That determines how long the king's chamber has got to be. It's the tomb. The edge is broken out. I get out, I walk through these numbers here because I am the Lamb of God or 2861 which is the espousal in Hebrew, male to marry, and now we walk this way along the 537 line to this point here, which is 3309619 per inches. I won't go into it at this point. And it's 116.26 per inches wide, and there's three sections. Two have been damaged and taken away, leaving one with the boss on it, which is the dimension uh, scale that's in the face of a very large lintel. It fits my hand exactly, in fact. So here we got this number here. So now we are, this is the great step, this is the grand gallery, and off we go. So that represents the earth, and the area volume of it is the same number in cubic inches as is the square miles of the earth. That's how complex it is. So as this was built and uh, dedicated in 2888 BC on March the 26th, that lines up with the first solar eclipse I'll see if I can find that for you. We're looking for uh, uh, 
18. December. See if that'll find it. This line here represents December the 18th, 1922. Go back. December the 18th, 1922. So which masonry layer, and there's 202 of them up to here. That gives you the first solar eclipse after December the 18th, 1922. And then we go to the 50th, which is this line here. And that gives us To the 14th, 2012, Prince Charles' 64th birthday, the distance from a solar eclipse that happened on the 25 degree latitude south is 942 miles to Rothschild Avenue, which is the beast. On the 25th of January 1944, a solar eclipse happened under Egypt, at the Great Pyramid, yeah, under Egypt's Great Pyramid. The distance to this point here is 8888.8 miles. Again, you can only do this with Magellan software. You can't do it with uh, Google Earth. We uh, challenged Google Earth on three occasions when they kept on making uh, tremendous errors. But finally, they uh, changed the database back to almost being accurate. Well, Jesus is found in 942 verses. So we go from that there, straight down, it's 3875 miles. So, comforter. Three eight seven five to the South Pole. From here. from that address. So, it's a very extraordinary. I should mention that uh, when I went into the pyramid, I suffered uh, 10 heart attacks because they had poisoned me with a, a, uh, a hemp cigarette which was given to me by an Arab working for the Jews. And uh, it stopped my heart. That was on the 11th of October, 2013, after we had been over to see if we could do something about the Pope who was arrested for uh, announcing me as being Christ and the image of the Shroud of Turin. So, 
as she's with the camera, catching me having eight, ten rather, heart attacks going up into the pyramid, because it was my mother's birthday. Should have been 101. I had to be there on that date. Um, on the 1st of October, Mars had changed colour from red to yellow with the green atmosphere. It had been struck by something from outer space, presumably a huge comet, and it changed the atmosphere and so forth. So these are signs that the authorities will never tell you about. So I've got to do it. It's not that difficult, really. The moon flipping upside down and so forth. People ask me, when's the end going to be? Well, I was laying in bed some time ago, and this is what happens to me. Uh, I heard a loud voice saying, November the 8th. At the same moment, through my... Uh, just above my right ankle, it was like a nail had been driven through it. It was absolute sheer agony. So that's what angels do. They um, can affect my body uh, in reacting to, and uh, or God will cause it to happen. Because the Trinity is God the Father, God the Son, and I'm the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. That's what the Trinity is all about. So Jesus is not dead, God's not dead, and I'm not dead. And they've tried many times. Well, this last week, we uh, had uh, extensive tests on my heart, and the uh, heart is now back to normal. So it has recovered. The two doctors in the office were stunned uh, from what they saw.